Thanks to Thomas Frank's video in September of 2019, I found the world of productivity apps and with it at the same time, Notion. Since then, I've used Notion as my daily driver and it's really all I've ever known when it comes to staying organized on a day-to-day -day basis in the digital sphere. To be very clear, my entire life is centered around Notion. However, when something like that comes up, you really question yourself and your way of life. What if Notion is all I am? Could I get anything done if I didn't use Notion every day? What if I replaced Notion with another productivity app for just a week? These questions brought me to the peak of my imposter syndrome as a productivity app and self-improvement YouTuber and sent me into a spiral of madness. Everything about me was one application. I was nothing without Notion. It owned me, and I was nothing more than an extension of its pages and databases. Some could argue that without Notion, my very existence might end, and that I would disappear into the abyss of discarded YouTubers. Uh, I'm doing the voiceover. It's not that serious. So due to my review of Sansama a few weeks back, I decided to actually take a week, and I, I did a community post about this a while ago, but I, I took a week and just used Sansama for my day-to-day -day task management instead of Notion. And that's that was, th this has been something, but what else is something is the fact that I haven't asked you guys to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with all of my like, latest videos. I mean, that that's something too. I also want to give a shout out to Francesco D'Alessio from Keep Productive, who did a seven day Sansama challenge, which was different for him because he didn't use Notion as his day to day driver and then switched to it, but he did try it for seven days. So I, I would recommend you go check out his channel. He is like, the main productivity app guy, honestly, him and Simpletivity are pretty awesome YouTubers, and he gave me the inspiration as well to make this video. Also, I only had two weeks of the free trial, so I figured if it's gonna cost me 20 bucks a month after, uh, I might as well see if I really like the app, because if I do, it's worth like giving it the shot. But essentially, the challenge was this. Could I use Sansama for seven days for all of my task management and habit tracking and manage to get all the same amount of work done? And you'll see how that goes in this video, but I was able to use, I will say, Notion for the project. So I obviously had a YouTube database with all the scripts and, and I wrote scripts in there and I wasn't gonna like not use the project part of Notion because Sansama does not have that functionality. So I did do that. Uh, however, for task management regarding like uh, just something like this, writing down that I needed to record videos, what videos I needed to record, uh, what habits I needed to track, my journaling, all those different things that was held within Sansama for the week. I also only use Sansama regarding my Google Calendar. It has an integration with Google Calendar and I had to only use Sansama's Google Calendar integration as well. So while Notion has been my favorite app of, and my only app of choice really for the last two years, let's see how it went for me to switch from that. So if I look at just day one of what I'm doing, it's pretty interesting. Like I have uh, this circumstance where I can't set recurring Ta or I can't set times to tasks from what at least what I'm seeing without uh, recurring them. So if I press repeat, I could put like a time. But if I don't, then all I got is this going on. All I got is all these. So what I can do is like I put a recurring task for making dinner, but obviously I'm only going to be using this thing for a week. So then now this is interesting. I'm going to have to look at things in a different way. I'm going to have to look at things just regarding the amount of time planned for them. It's interesting though, because I've been, I've been working in a, in a life where it's like, this needs to be done at 5.30, then 6, then 6.15 for years. And yeah, it takes a lot of the thinking out of it. But also, I mean, it's going to be interesting to see, this is a little bit more mentally freeing, I guess, just from a, a strict on myself standpoint, but we'll see how this goes. So what I like here from a phone perspective, looking at it is just the fact that I can see the to-do list and quickly like check them off. Like if I, for example, you know, the setting up since some, like I press this and then it kind of goes dark. So it's different than what I'd usually have in my daily planner notion to just disappear, but it's kind of nice to see the time estimates, see what I'm thinking of, like how long could I get this thing done? Now, you know, I can break things down by channel, which is nice too. If I actually take, this guy and go to just habit tracker. Then I can have my little habit tracker, have my housekeeping. It's kind of like Slack channels, which is cool. Side hustle specifically, so I can kind of bucket things. So far, I'm, I'm actually liking the way this is, this is formatted. Not bad. So I gotta say something that I really liked about Sensama was the fact that you could open up your Gmail integration and then take that and move a different email onto your taskbar. And it was just interesting that you can take an email 
and it would auto like read the thing. And if you needed an action item from an email, it was easier to do that because I have an integration from the Notion API kind of where you could type out or copy and paste what was in a Gmail to Google tasks and then that automation would bring it into Notion in my capture inbox. But honestly, guys, like that is that is a little bit of a backwards way of doing things. I'm, I'm like putting things to put in things. So it's one of those things where I honestly enjoyed the fact that there was a straight integration where I could just drag stuff from my email. I could read my email in my productivity app too, which was odd, but great at the same time. And I gotta say the, the way that they had this integration set up with Slack was cool. Even though I don't use Slack, they had channels on the side and that reminded me of how Slack works and how I could press the different parts of it, whether it be like my life, uh, the side hustle, the housekeeping and the habit tracking, I could break things down like that. And yes, you can do that with different views in Notion, but it was just interesting uh, to have a different view of those because it was more of a board view uh, with a task list at the same time. And I enjoyed that view to a certain extent because uh, it's just different than what I usually use. All right, let's break down the negatives. There are no connections and like databases with this thing. I mean, it's just I didn't have the daily planner for a week. I love that thing. Also, can we talk about how I couldn't just have the task pages have links to the, you know, like the, the different things I was trying to do. So if I was trying to record a YouTube video like I'm doing right now, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do this. Here, here, let me, let me do this for you. So I'm going to screen record real quick. Yeah, three, two, one. Yeah. So I got, I got the script going right now on my phone, which is cool and all. And I could do that when I was recording. But if I swipe to the side here twice, I'm going, this is the, I don't know why I'm showing it here, I have it recording. There, there's all of these. I could easily just press into this, press script, and boom, I'm like in there. But I had it so I'd have to go into the app. If I go into Sansama, all I had there was the fact that like, if we go to last Monday or last Tuesday when I recorded, it was just like, oh, YouTube screen recordings, YouTube A-roll recordings. It's like, I didn't, I didn't have any inner connectivity here. It was so frustrating for that. Like, this is so awesome to just be able to scroll through this script. Um, you can see what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm totally ad-libbing right now. And uh, we're not, we're not doing a great, great job here. But, you know, as someone who makes four videos a week, it's like, it's insane that I, I didn't have that opportunity to just have the task on my phone and quickly just press in there. And the same goes for the script writing and stuff. Like imagine just writing scripts, and having to go from like, okay, I gotta write scripts to having the subtask connected with the project. Cause all this takes is for me to do this in my plan week session for two minutes. I just have all four of the videos that I make. I put a bunch of check boxes with them and I have the hyperlinks and then I paste them into all of my tasks for the week. And then it's all interconnected, it takes no time whatsoever with practice. You just get used to doing it. And then I went a whole week of not having that. And I'm really frustrated about something that's so small that it makes me realize that sometimes I care too much about productivity apps. I also want to say another negative was the fact that Hoy decided to do this during his busiest week in, in work. Like this was the hardest week of work I had here. This is like our busy season and we were, we were getting uh, a lot of work. So I was like outside of my job. Um, I was not being as, as comfortable with the system I was using which made me kind of uncomfortable. Also, I gotta say the mobile app did have some bugs that I wasn't a big fan of. It's nothing special. I mean, you could do some decent stuff with it. Like if, if we go in here, there was a circumstance where if we take, for example, uh, we had a journaling session. Look how short this journal is. And the reason for how short this journal is, is the fact that I didn't have the opportunity to actually save it. Like I, I wrote down a big journal entry I didn't like press out like this and it didn't save. It just didn't save. And I was like, uh, what? And then I did it two other times. I got frustrated at that fact. And then I just wrote one line to go along with it. I'm not going to be a fan of something just straight up getting rid of my journal entries three times in a row. All right. The verdict. Drum roll, please. It was pretty good. Like it's a good app. And I think, I could envision a universe where I use it, an alternative universe where I'm okay with it. Uh, if I started using it first, maybe I'd even swear by it. Uh, I'd say the same would happen if I use something like ClickUp. A lot of these apps are good. If I used Todoist first with um, Google Calendar integration, I would be fine with it probably. Uh, there's a lot of these systems that are awesome if you, if you tailor them to your preferences. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do with my channel is show you different things, helping you guys trying to find what 
you are interested in the most. So if you like different board views and integrations with applications and you're willing to spend 20 bucks a month on it, do it. Captain Sinbad does it. He's making a lot of content out here. I'd say he does a pretty good job of doing that. Like if this app had project databases that had the same interconnectivity as Notion, just some table views and, and some calendar views and whatnot, I probably would switch because the Google Calendar integration and the email integration is so strong. But Notion doesn't have that or recurring tasks right now, which Sansama is just winning in that category. And I gotta give them credit for it. However, on the other hand, with Notion buying Automate.io, they very well may have the ability to start doing these things like having recurring tasks actual calendar and email integrations, and others of the like. I look forward to this in the coming months, but it's pretty difficult to not point out how far behind Notion is when it comes to having these kinds of features that other apps have. I would say that the main thing I learned from this challenge, however, is that try new things. Not, not only in my, like I do the 30 day challenges all the time, but try new things in your systems. I think if you have a week that isn't your busiest week of work in the year, oops, don't be afraid to try a different system. You're gonna find what you like, and I think I was lucky enough to stumble in Notion, which I probably like the most. Just try it out. Try Sansama out, try ClickUp out, try Todoist and Google Calendar out. Do those different things, and you will see what works best for you. And for me, I'm just happy that you guys watch these videos. You give me all this support, because good lord, channel been growing quicker than I could ever believe. And I just wanna thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all of that. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to click one of these video playlist cards right here. And I will see you guys in the next one.